Say what you want regarding the Airbus A220, some people will consider it a success and some people will see it as a cheap alternative that Airbus are offering for the regional market. But one thing is for sure, we'll be seeing a lot more of the plane in the future, especially since Airbus purchased half the stake of the Bombardier company. With Airbus finishing the construction of their new plant in Alabama, it seems that Boeing is running out of options to stop the A220 from stealing the market share. So currently there are two models of the A220 which are being offered. The 100, which has a seating capacity of around 125 passengers, and the 300, which can seat around 145 passengers. However, for quite some time, Bombardier have had the idea of further stretching the CS planes to fit around 165 passengers. The current 100 and 300 variants are sitting in their own field, but the idea of stretching the plane could put them into the playing field of the 737 Max and also the A320neo. It would have a slightly longer range and also on an increase in its maximum takeoff weight. But it goes without saying that the plane has done really well, especially now that it's in the hands of Airbus, gaining a total of 537 orders at the time of this recording. But at the end of the day though, the idea of a possible stretch is in the hands of Airbus. But they have been impressed by the orders and the feedback from their customers and they are considering building the larger version of the A220. But I believe this is all a bid in boxing in Boeing as much as they possibly can. But at the same time, it's a risk that they'll be taking. The plane would have to be a small and quick investment for Airbus and the return on investment would have a very high potential. They would have two fabulous products to offer with the A320neo and also the A220-500 while Boeing only has one to offer. The A220 is designed for small regional airports and specific spoke-to-spoke -spoke routes and it's not really in the market against the established A320neo on the 737 MAX. However, if Airbus do decide to go for the further stretch, then it could put pressure on Boeing but at the same time, they'll be at the risk of minimizing their own sales for the A320neo series. I believe that Boeing would be in the hot seat since the 737 is at the end of its stretching and it can't be stretched any further and the E195E2 that they've just required is not in the same league. To stay competitive, they would have to offer the 737 much cheaper or come up with a new design entirely. So it'll be interesting to see whether Airbus will eventually go ahead with the idea of stretching the A220 and determining just how much of an impact it will have on the market. So captains, as always, be sure to share your thoughts and opinions regarding this matter. Do you think they'll go ahead with this plan or are they better off staying with their current lineup? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching guys, like and subscribe as always and I'll see you in the next video.